<laughs> oh, hey guys. I'm not wearing my glasses. My my vision is so much better. And when I see uh, the, you see the bags and you get these uh, indents from wearing glasses so long. I've worn glasses since I was 13 years old. <laughs> I mean, constantly. So, this is new to me. I'm, I'm still going to have to wear uh, reading glasses, but I can see, uh, you know, distance without it. But I want to um, go over uh, a few things I was thinking about. Thinking about understanding and your authentic self. Under, understanding your authentic self. The, um, well, I'll put on my glasses to read my notes, though. Hold on a minute. Now I can't hardly see myself. This is so weird. Anyway. My notes say we must learn to listen and obey our authentic inner voice. And I wrote these. It's just I, I'm from my heart, the top of my head or whatever. The authentic inner voice is the positive inner voice. Believe it or not, we have two inner voices, negative, positive, the devil or the angel or whatever, but we do have these two voices. We have the poles, yin and yang. The whole world is made up of positive and negative, male, female. So that's that's how this, this world turns, but we must learn to listen and obey our authentic inner voice. The positive voice is the voice that assures you that things are going to be okay. The negative voice is the voice that says negative things. Just, ooh, they're going to do this. This is going to do that. You ought to hit her. You ought to blow your horn at them. You ought to run them off the road. Just, it instills anger. That's the negative voice. And I was thinking about that negative voice and the positive voice which I, I do hear, but I don't hear the negative often. The ne well, the negative, sometimes when I'm not feeling well, the positive say, well, get up and do this, or go take a walk, or check the calendar. It may be time to change your pain patch. And the negative voice say, I'll lay here, it ain't time to change your pain patch. And then I'll say, let me get up and look at the calendar. And sure enough, it is time for me to change the pain patch. That's why I'm feeling bad. But a lot of people disagree with this thought. But this is just the way I, my, I think. You know, when you think about Jesus, if you read about his temptation in the book of Luke, when he was in the wilderness, 40 days in the wilderness, he was tempted by Satan, but it, it wasn't Satan in the physical form. It was in his head. He hadn't eaten in 40 days, so I imagine he was hearing things and just going through a lot of stuff. But one voice says, since you hungry, turn these stone in the bread. And the positive voice quotes scriptures to get him out of that. Then the negative voice come back and, well, if you bow down to me and worship me, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world. And the positive voice, Jesus came and rebuked it again. The third time, this negative voice, or Satan, as uh, the Bible says, it, he was very dramatic. It uh, shows Jesus being at the temple, on a pillar of the temple, and tells him to cast himself down off this pillar. And that was suicide. That was, that was, Jesus was tempted by suicide. And he rebuked the spirit of suicide. So, 
we we if Jesus had that happen to him, you know, a lot of people don't believe in the Bible or Jesus or whatever. But if it is a parable, this is what it's talking about. We have these two inner voices. Now, if you hear more than two, you, you probably need to see somebody. But we, we all have this these two voices. And we have to learn to listen and obey the authentic voice. And some more notes. Let me read them that I had written. Uh, it says, when we hear this voice, we must act immediately or store what it says in our random access memory. And the random access memory is the quick reference. You know, it's like in computers, our brain is nothing but a computer. Random access means you could uh, retrieve it real quickly. So, we have to be able to do that, to retrieve this information that our inner voice, that authentic inner voice has given us. And even at the end of the day, when we understand our authentic voice, we've had a good day and you made it home from work and you, you, you give yourself accolades and we all we are all trained to say thank you God for making this possible and thank you God for this and it, it's a good practice to give yourself accolades to say thank you Mary thank you Jean thank you for obeying your authentic self so you know I think the more you acknowledge your authentic self the more you will be able to be acquainted with your authentic self. But pay attention to it and you'll be able to conquer <laughs> any situation that you come up against. But you got to be aware of it. So that's, that's my little tidbit of information for today. I'll come back later when I have some more to say, okay? Bye.